Welcome to the Fishing Guide Podcast. Of course, Mitch is working again, but I do not feel sorry for him because I am down in the home of the big crappie. There you go, right here on Lake Washington, home of the four-pound crappie. That's right. I'm here with uh, Mike Jones, and uh, he has a tackle store down here. He has some uh, lodging, too, uh, bait and things. Bait and Things, Southern Star V Park, Bait and Things Bait Shop. So everything that's got to do with fishing is right here, and that's what I love about it. But uh, let's – let's. Uh, I don't even know where to start. You're renovating the place, and that's the reason why we're, we're like, don't have a whole bunch of stuff in, in behind us. But you can see he's got a bunch of products. He's going to have a lot more products. But tell us a little bit uh, about the store here. How long has it, has it been here? Bait and Things was opened up in January of 2006, uh, right over there where we're renovating and getting it, you know, ready for the season to start up. And uh, Katrina come through and blew down a bunch of trees on the south, and one of my customers saw those trees up and made lumber out of them, and I bought a truckload of uh, two by six, uh, 16 and 20 foot, uh, you know, boards from him and what was here was a roof over over a mobile home and then we went in and put the floor joists and the walls and all up and then it become a work in progress from that point where we uh as we had money to do things with we you know would finish it out so in january of 07 i moved from the little side room to this area right here and we've been here ever since and then you know it this year we, or 2020, we ended up having to do some more renovating and all, and put the, you know, the new metal siding and all on. And you're actually getting to see, we're almost through. You know, we we like about another two weeks or so, having the bait shop and everything ready, uh, getting ready for what we have coming up in in February and for the fishing season. So it's it's kind of Hurry up and get it done, but we got to have money to work with. So you got to wait right. till you make some. And and uh, and like Mike said, uh, actually the older uh, structure is there, and this is the new one here. Yeah, so how many new. more square foot have you added on to this? Well, I mean, I've not added on oh. anything recently. This this was all. It's a basically a forty by sixty, you know, building the way it's uh-huh. the way it's laid out, and uh, we've been in this building here since 2007 but we had some uh damage and all that we had to contend with and get that fixed and give a facelift and you know i like the rustic look as you can tell so right. uh we're, we're looking forward to uh getting everybody down here and you know getting corona past us and you know folks coming in and getting you know getting into fishing right so uh we're going to do a little layout uh of what of what he has down here because you know without just showing them a picture and a video they probably can't understand but actually lake washington is right across the street i'm pretty sure i could cast and maybe catch a fish by throwing a lure out that way so tell them boat ramp boat at, facilities parking how does that work you come in here you come in right here by the front door as the entrance into the campground and all it's a horseshoe you make the loop around go across the road down around the circle drive down there where the boat ramp and the fish cleaning facility and the pier uh-huh. unload your boat come back up here and then we park out here in this big field it's a 4.9 acre uh compound that i have here and we've got seven cabins and 28 rv sites so the bait shop we've got a big pier we've got a what used to be the provision pavilion i call it we've enclosed it it is now the shed uh-huh. And we have a concrete slab out here that I plan to put a roof over on it and make another pavilion out there for our big mama, you know, shindig and tournament and all. But um, we still can use the shed as far as rolling up the doors and getting in out of the weather and, and everything because of my big mama tournament that we do, this is our 19th year. Uh-huh. And it's always the first Saturday of March, and uh, it's a big event. A lot of anglers plan their vacations to come down here for it and uh we're just trying to make things you know better and better for them every year 
What's the date of those exactly? March the 6th will be the, the actual event. Okay. The banquet will be March the 5th. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll have people coming in all the way back from, you know, March the 1st or so that will be coming in. And we get people literally from all over the country. The Becks come all the way from Reno, Nevada. Wow. The Waldrops come from Benton, Kentucky. If the Rambos are able to make it down, they come from northern Indiana. We've got uh, people all over Arkansas and Missouri and Illinois and Tennessee and Alabama and Louisiana that come. Uh, we we usually have a, a group from Florida that usually come wow. in here. So it it just, you know, people coming from all over. And I happen to know there's different divisions. So tell us about the divisions that you have in that <clears throat> tournament. Well, with the live scopes and all getting to be so popular with, it, with you know, the semi-pros and, and, and pros – and all we we decided this year to do a live scope division and a non live scope division. You know, so if you're fishing with a live scope, you can come on and, and you know, you get in that part of the tournament. You just need to make sure that we know that you're fishing with live uh-huh. scope and uh you'll be given a, a special tag for that. If you're not fishing with a live scope, you know, you've got just as good a chance as the people that that are fishing with live scope out there to, to to catch a fish, those entry fees will be split. Whoever's in live scope, that money will go in that pot. Uh-huh. Whoever's in non live scope will go in that pot. And then of course we take the couples. We always have somewhere between mm-hmm. ten or twelve couples that uh, that you know we we put in there and and their money goes into their pot for their you know for their fishing deal. But with all that being said. Whoever catches the biggest fish is going to get the biggest pot. Oh, you know. Yeah. So I mean, if we end up mm. like we usually average twelve to eighteen hundred, sometimes it's been as high as twenty two hundred dollars for wow. first place. So if you come in here and you catch the big fish, you're going to get the big check or the big wow. cash envelope because we we give back cash. It's a eighty percent payback, hundred twenty five dollars you know entry fee for bass or crappie. If you want to fish in both uh, both tournaments, it's two hundred and twenty five dollars instead of two fifty. If you have a third person that's fishing in the boat with you, or a fourth person, then it's seventy five dollars per person. And then we allow one fifteen year old uh, youth to fish in a boat for free, and they go in the youth. Uh, uh, you know, they go in the youth side of the tournament. Uh-huh. That's a whole separate tournament. I mean, if oh, it's good. You know, we, we have prizes for them and, and, and all, and, and the same thing. If, you know, if we end up with a youth of 12, 14-year-old, you know, person goes out there and catches a four-pound crappie, who's going to get the check? The person with the biggest fish. Right. So, wow. uh, you know, we it's a family ordeal. I, I've uh-huh. been doing it. This is 19 years, and, you know, it, it's been – it grows every year. And you know we end up you know feeding anywhere from four to four hundred and fifty people, um, and it's just a big a big event. A lot of folks talk about it. Yeah, it sounds like a great event. Uh, so, what's been the biggest crappie caught in uh, the Big Mama tournament? In my Big Mama tournament, I think is a three three thirty six or wow. three forty eight. The biggest crappie caught in a tournament on Lake Washington. Uh-huh. is a 376 and that wow. fish hanging on the wall up there that metal replica that was that's a, a a replica of that fish chris hemphill caught it i believe it was in 2013 wow and uh, he was fishing with magnolia crappie club and he caught the big fish and 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 everything and then that um uh um uh, that Fish has been to date the biggest one on record. Biggest, biggest now, one. I've seen four pounders and I've seen five pounders come out of Lake Washington, but never in a tournament. Right. Wow. Those are those are some big crappie right there. And so um, we're we're actually right here in the store. We're shooting this, and so uh, Mike is Mike's always working. <laughs> and so and that that really leads to something is talk about your hours because like it's like. When you come to some bait shops and you think you on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, you think you're going to go in there and get minnows and you show up and you're like, the place is empty. 
you can't get minnows till after it's nine o'clock or ten o'clock. That don't work if you're a fisherman. No, it doesn't. And and I try not to be out of out of minnows. We were uh this past year with the corona and COVID and, and all this, we ran out a few times. Most of the time if I get low on minnows, I'm going and finding them somewhere. I've drove to, to Grenada many times. I have drove to uh uh, Meridian and got them. I've even wow. drove over to Lowen Oak, Arkansas, yeah. to Anderson Minnow Farm and gotten minnows. And then I've contacted other people. I I try to make sure I got a tank full of minnows during the fishing season. And if there's a big event going on, a, a tournament or what have you, then uh, I try to uh, I try to make sure that I've got those you know those, yep. those tournaments covered. It's nothing for us to go through five or six thousand minnows a day during a magnolia wow. tournament or a crappie masters tournament or a big mama tournament or you know act hasn't been here but crappie usa has been here a crappie usa tournament right. or you know anything like that if there's a, a crappie tournament going on we're we're subject to go through a lot of minnows and i do whatever it takes to get them and and let's start at the very front of your store and work your way back. Now, just kind of describe to people what you got here because we've already walked through. We know you got poles and stuff, but I want you to tell them, you know, as you come through. And, of course, we, well, when you walk in the front door right here, uh -huh. of course, the counter's right there, and that's where I'm going to be sitting at if I'm not up here dipping minnows or, uh -huh. or, or talking to somebody. When you, As soon as you come through the door, we've got our crappie monster line of jigs right here on the wall. The uh, crazy anglers right there. Uh, we've got Uncle Ted's and all, which these are fixing to be discontinued. And brush pile fishing and all is going to be going right there. Behind me is all of our hooks and sinkers and bobbers and, you know, trolling rigs and that sort of thing. And then we've got muddy water baits over here. We've got bully, but, uh, Bobby Garland baits over here. We've got the the little black jigs and uh, brown jigs and all that are are locally made right. made here and uh uh by one of our our local uh jig tires that we sell a lot of those throughout the year got uh slater jigs and all right here we've got uh, uh i've got pico lures that'll be coming in here oh, yeah. in the near near future and then we've got uh, grenada uh, grenada jig heads that we'll have here uh, they're actually out here in the truck them that in the brush pile uh-huh and uh we just got our new shipment of uh acc crappie stick poles all the way up to uh 16 foot we've got our new shipment of ozark poles okay uh full line of them uh, all the way up to 16 foot and um i may be yeah i think i'm right yeah i believe acc 16 i can't i got my glasses i can't see over there <laughs> But uh, we, we've got poles all the way up to 16 foot, jig poles, trolling poles, casting poles. You know, if you're if you're long lining or what have you, we, we, we've got it. We've got the crappie monster, uh, you know, lightweight landing net that yep. we're proud to be, you know, carrying those. Um, we've already gone through, I think, about uh, 60, maybe 70 of those between what we've sold and then we've, you know, we usually give a a net away at a tournament or something uh -huh. as a prize to different things, and uh, we're we're proud to have those in here. We're we're getting a lot more things coming in. Of course, we've got minnows and we've got crickets and we've got right. you know uh, red worms and night crawlers and and we carry the the green night crawlers. Uh, oh. Most people don't know about those, but they right. glow in the water out there. And I just recently found out they make those green red worms like that that you can get. So we're going to be getting some of those in here. And then we've got snacks and drinks and, and what have you, life jackets, buckets, you know. You know, buckets. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, so we've got, a, we, uh, we've got a pretty good full line. I, I have a, uh, a local guy that makes, you know, homemade paddles for me, and I've only got one left. I usually use those and in prizes and stuff because we'll have them engraved with bait and things on them. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, a cedar or a cypress paddle. Of course, we have the regular, you know, boat paddles and all in here too. But this is a unique, uh, a very unique place. And if I don't got it, I'll make sure I get it before you uh, come back in here the next time. And, you know, if, if you need something out there on the lake, all you got to do is call me and I'll meet you on the pier and give it to you. You're not going to get much service better than that.
No, you're not going to get service anywhere better than that. <laughs> it's just being so close to this. I mean, you just, you're looking out there, and the more I look out there, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, ditch the podcast and go fishing. That's yeah, what I'm there, thinking. There, but, there you uh, go. There you go. So uh, you did talk a little bit uh, about lodging. Tell us a little bit more because even though the, the tackle store is, is really, really important, I mean, for anglers and getting their minnows and, and their lures and everything that they need and launching, you, you, it we starts have, we with have, having some lodging when yep, you travel. That's right. We've, we've got seven cabins here. Uh, uh-huh. Cabin one, two, three, uh, and cabin seven are all – you know, individual they'll sleep anywhere from one to three people. Right. Uh, singles are 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 you know maybe a couple of you know two people. We got full size beds in them or what have you. Cabin four is and five is our new cabin. It's a sixteen by forty. Uh, uh, looks like a shotgun home, and uh-huh. uh, we're finishing it out. It'll be a sixteen by twenty on both ends duplex, and uh, so we'll end up you know with a total of six cabins and we have twenty eight RV sites. We have full hookups here, and then we have actually 18 more sites at Southern Star One, which is two and a half miles down the road, and and all of our sites are full hookup. They got okay. 20, 20 and 30 amp on most of them. Uh, we're limited on 50 amp service here at the bait shop right now, but at the uh, at the home, at Southern Star One where I live and all, we have 18 sites, and they all are 20, 30, and 50 amp full hookups there. Uh, we have a three-bedroom, two-bath mobile home that will accommodate eight to ten people, and it's very popular with, you know, large groups of guys coming in or families or what have you. And, uh, you know, we, we just – we don't have a lot, but what we have is nice and clean. And, uh, you know, they're equipped with a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee pot. Uh, there's a te- television. There's not internet TV service here, but, right. you know, you can get – the local uh, weather and what have you, so you'll know what's what. And, um, you know, then we have, uh, your, of course, your linings and all, but there's no no pay, uh, plates and forks and spoons and pots and pans and all that. you got to bring that with you. Okay. Uh, so. A uh, nearest gas station that's a good one to go to because guys are always trying to find one. Is there one that's close by you well, can recommend? The the closest one is on the north end of the lake here, which would be at Roy's store. Uh-huh. They've got ethanol free gas and all there. And then if you don't get gas there or if they happen to be closed, you'll have to go to Greenville, toward Greenville, to uh, uh, Rick's Express or to Miss Ann Lester at Be Quick. Uh, and the good thing about Miss Ann, her tanks are above ground, and uh, you know, so she's she's got good ethanol-free gas. It's it's not going to take a chance with like all the rain that we've been having here lately. The underground tanks I've gotten gas at Walmart and had problems with it. Yeah, I happen to know that Ann happens to cook a mean breakfast, but she's <laughs> got it, she's got it going there. So if you catch a bunch of fish here, you come in from the lake you could run down there how far how far is that it can't be more than 15 miles yeah, it's about about 15 16 miles to ends uh you know to uh swift water be quick and uh you know it, it's 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 some mighty good breakfast best breakfast in town they've got a really good hamburger and all they also have you know uh, uh barbecue uh, ribs and and rib tips and all that you can get on yeah. saturday night you can get a steak and I learned this morning when we were there for breakfast that she's now, you know, uh, selling uh, steaks there that you can pick up and take home and cook. So she's, she's got it going on. And if, you, if you're if you a chicken salad person, she's probably got the best chicken salad recipe wow. you'll ever put in your mouth. We, we did not know that. Well, we, we, we talked to her this morning that something, though, that we just learned. Well, 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 you know, she had so much on the menu that we were talking about in her famous pig pie and and all that, I didn't even think about the chicken salad till I was just sitting here thinking, you know, all the things that she's got. But they, she has a mean chicken salad sandwich. So give us a quick overview if these people are coming, the anglers are coming to fish in that uh, Big Mama tournament, uh, which is uh, later on. March the 6th. Uh, March the 6th. What are they probably going to be doing to catch the biggest fish? Well, there'll be some that'll be singing po- single polling in the trees. There'll uh-huh. be live scoping you know, out in the trees and out there long lining, trolling, spider rigging, about everything you can, you can think of. There'll be some shooting and, 
and you know shooting the docks and and what have you that is you know that's springtime that's spawn uh-huh. time and uh you know you can catch crappie out here on lake washington in the spring when it's spawn season literally anywhere you want to go wow. so uh you know it, it it's kind of open now most of the guys that catch the the big fish that win the tournaments over the years most of them i would have i, I would probably say would be out there spider rigging or, or, or long lining or what have you, but there have been some big ones come out of the, the, the timber sure. over there. Uh-huh. And and now with the live scope stuff where you can actually, you know, see the fish and get right in there on top of them, that's probably where, you know, maybe some of your winners will come from. But the uh, the, the, the big thing is, is, you know, we're, we're doing it to where you got a, a live scope division and a non-live scope. Right. And so that takes us up to uh, tackle time. And of course, tackle time is being sponsored by Pico Lures. And man, I can't tell you how many tackle times we've had on our iScope jig heads because they're designed and, and Mitch designed these and he constructs them so that you can see them better when you're live scoping. So whether uh, whether you have uh, the new Lowrance active imaging or you have the... Um, the Garmin live scope, you can see, uh, you can see that jig while it's down there. It's a very prevalent jig. And it also comes in heavier sizes, which is really important because you don't want your jig, you know, moving around when you're dropping it. You want one pull, you want one lure, you want it going bound and you want to be able to see it. So, uh, Mike will probably have some of them here in the store. So you'll be able to come by and pick them up. And uh, that pretty much rolls us for that section. Tell us uh, real quick uh, if they want to uh, find out more about uh, your site. You have a Facebook page, right? We have a Facebook page, Baiting Things, that you can go on and see us. It's B A I T, the letter E N, capital T H A E N G S, right here on the <laughs> that's right, right, here. right here on this sign. And uh, you know that that's our that's our Facebook page, or you can reach me at six six two eight two 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 zero eight seven. Uh, I'm, I'm 24 seven, unless I'm doing an interview and I'll mute you until I can get, <laughs> get back to it. But, uh, as one, one guy says, you know, give old Mike a call cause he loves to talk. Well, that, that's about right. I love to talk and talk about the great things that Mississippi's got going for it. And, uh, you know, the Mississippi crappie trail that, that we have and, and Lake Washington being the number two lake in the country, it's all about getting people here, putting them in hotels and bed and breakfasts right. and, restaurants and and buying gas and bait and stuff at bait and tackle shops promoting the tourism yeah it's a great thing so uh make sure you subscribe uh to our youtube channel and subscribe to our uh, podcast uh networks there's uh apple play and all those we got them all covered iheart radio so you'll be able to find us there and like i always like to say uh, make sure you keep your hook sharp and your lures in the water <laughs>